Right, so I said in my Mike Riley and Braden Coburn trade video that I did not expect Eric Goodbranson to get dealt today because of the human side of the game and the fact that you know his wife had a baby and I thought maybe you know the Sens would just kind of leave him alone just because also he wouldn't fetch a whole lot for them in a trade so all those you know things factored in I thought he wouldn't get dealt for sure today and you listen to DJ Smith's pregame press conference and he says yeah good Branson's gonna be in the lineup and now he's traded to Nashville so another Ottawa guy Ottawa defenseman who's a hometown guy gets dealt to Nashville Borowiecki wasn't dealt to Nashville he did sign there as a free agent but in this case good Branson gets dealt there what do the Sens get in return they get Brandon Fortunato I believe that's how you say his name and a seventh round pick in the 2023 draft as for Fortunato, he's 24 years old. He's never played an NHL game. He spent all of his time in the ECHL last year. He's played some time in the AHL this season. And he's undrafted. He played at Quinnipiac University for four years. So I don't know that he's ever really going to be a full-time guy for Ottawa. I don't know if he'll ever even see any NHL ice. I'm going to go ahead and assume more than likely not. But they get a seventh for a good Branson. You, I didn't really think a guy like Good Branson was going to fetch them a high pick or a good prospect or anything like that. So I can't be too disappointed. I just want to point out that Fortunato is also a defenseman as well. So the Sens get a defenseman prospect for a current defenseman. But like I said, I don't think he'll ever see the ice. Not only in Ottawa, but in the NHL in general. And yeah, normally I would be more happy about Good Branson being traded. But I do feel pretty bad for him. The fact that his wife did have a baby. And now she's with that newborn all alone and you kind of want to have, you know, both mom and dad there for the baby when, you know, in the early stages. I, I can imagine it's got going to be rough on his wife here. I don't know if she's going to be going down to Nashville with him. But that's really not for me to decide or anything like that. Those are more personal stuff, so we won't really talk about that. But with that being said... I mean, I am somewhat happy about Good Branson being gone. This opens up room for more good young defensemen to make their way in. I also want to mention, too, that Victor Mete from Montreal was claimed off waivers by Ottawa. He will wear number 98, which is pretty odd to see anyone wear a number that high. I mean, obviously, McDavid has 97, but there's not too many guys that wear numbers that high in the league is what I'm trying to say. And Mete, I, I think he might play for Ottawa tonight. Maybe that's why they dealt good Branson too. Want to open up some space for a guy like Victor Mete, who has way more upside than good Branson, more of a good skater. And now all of a sudden with Coburn and good Branson gone, the only really physical guy back there on defense is Josh Brown, who will play tonight, I'm assuming. And now the Sens are looking better on their back end, more of a puck moving, skating type of back end rather than this big bruising physical type of back end that they started the season with and had right up until the deadline pretty much. And hopefully that's a sign of good things to come as hopefully they're starting to change their mentality now and go more to a speed and skill puck moving group of defensemen and a speed and skill group of forwards and get away from those slower, bigger, banging physical type of guys. But those are my thoughts on the Good Branson trade. Please let me know what all of you think in the comments down below. Please like and subscribe and share this video. And if you do subscribe, make sure to hit the bell to get notifications every time I make a video. You'll be notified if you hit the bell. So please do that as well if you do choose to subscribe. But that's all for this one. Like I said, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll talk to you again soon.